Hey everyone, this is Jay Clark over here at Fargo 3D Printing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Replicator 2 or 2X Y-axis assembly aluminum upgrades. The following tools will be required. Side cutters, 5mm hex key, 2.5mm hex key, 2mm hex key, and a 1 16mm hex key as well as a q-tip, toothpick, or in our case a metal brush, and as well as the upgrade kit. Make sure your machine is turned off, unplugged, and cooled down before proceeding with this video. First we will remove the left side, front, and right side panels. This allows for easier access to the areas we'll be working on. Remove the active cooling fan ducts as well as the two bolts holding the extruder to the carriage. Follow the extruder cables behind the machine and cut any zip ties that are holding the cables to the printer. You may not have any zip ties holding your cables to the machine and that is okay. Remove the extruder from the carriage, take the cables out of their slots in the back, and lay the entire assembly behind the machine. We will now move to the right side of the gantry system where the end stop PCB and X axis motor are located. We are going to remove the end stop PCB's cable. To do this, push down on the small lever and pull. A flat screwdriver may be needed. On the outside of the same area, remove the metal pin. This will free the cable so the end stop PCB connector can be pushed out. Remove the motor cable as well. There should be a small zip tie holding the cables to the top of the frame. Gently cut this to ensure no damage to the wires. Move to the left side of the machine. We will be removing the belt from the Y-axis secondary. To do this, simply push the belt out from the outside of the machine inwards. Back on the right side of the machine, remove the belt. On the same side, but in the front right corner, we will remove the wires from their holders. You can loosen the small bolts, which will allow for the holders to rotate, or you can slide them out as shown. Remove the wires from the first holder. From this angle, we'll remove the right side linear rod. Grasp firmly and push down. You'll hear a loud click. Move to the front left corner and repeat the process. Push down on both the left and right linear rods to remove them from the back brackets. Take the gantry system out of the printer. On the right side, we'll remove the end stop PCB by unscrewing it and using a flat screwdriver to push it free from the Y-axis primary. Turn the gantry system so you can see the screws from the X-axis motor on the Y-axis primary. Remove all four screws. Do not lose the washers. On the left side, remove the X-axis idler pulley from the Y-axis secondary. Position the gantry system so you can pull the Y-axis secondary and Y-axis primary off of the X-axis linear rods. Then we will take the Y-axis primary and Y-axis secondary and remove the bushings. Once you have the rods out of the Y-axis secondary and Y-axis primary, pull the bushings off the linear rods when done. Open the upgrade kit and remove its contents. Before proceeding, use a Q-tip or brush to clean the X-axis motor pulley. A toothpick or knife may be used to clear the gears as well. Take the motor mount from the kit and align it on the motor. Flip the motor upside down or so the motor connectors are facing down as shown. Screw the motor mount onto the motor with the motor's previous screws and washers. Grab the linear bracket marked R. Loosen the set screws and position the motor mount onto the linear bracket as shown. The motor's pulley should be away from the R and screwed into the last two holes. Make sure that the linear bracket and motor mount are parallel to each other. Grab the spacer from the kit along with the end stop PCB and its respective screw from earlier. Secure the end stop PCB onto the motor mount. Next we will reassemble the gantry system. Place the carriage down with the bushings facing upwards and the front of the carriage pointing away from you. Grab the R linear bracket assembly and loosen its bottom set screws. Slide the x-axis rods into place by flushing the ends of the rods to the outside of the linear bracket. Retighten the set screws and loop the belt over the motor pulley. 
Take the L linear bracket and loosen its bottom set screws. Slide the x-axis rods into place by flushing the ends of the rods to the outside of the linear bracket. Retighten the set screws. Loosen the shoulder bolt and slide the belt into place as shown. You can add some Loctite to the shoulder bolt threads if desired. Retighten the shoulder bolt. Move back to the R linear bracket. Pull the motor so the belt becomes taut. Tighten the motor set screws. Once the belt is tight, flip the gantry system right side up and take the y-axis linear rods and push them through the linear bearings. Move the entire gantry system into the printer with the L bracket on the left side and the R bracket on the right side. In the back left corner, press the linear rod into place. You'll hear a loud click. Do the same for the front left, rear right, and front right. Make sure no cables get caught between the rod and the bracket. The gantry system should move freely in all directions. Next, we'll move on to reinstalling the belts. On the left side, move the linear bracket as far forward as possible. Hold the forward pressure while you loop the belt underneath the back belt clamp. Move to the right side of the printer and push the linear bracket as far forward as possible. Hold the forward pressure while you loop the belt underneath the back belt clamp. You can now move the carriage away from the front and loop the belts underneath both of the front belt clamps. Replace the front right wires into their holders. If you loosen the nuts, retighten them. Reconnect the PCB end stop cable and motor cable. Re-zip tie them to the frame. Reset the extruder cables on the back side of the machine and secure the extruder to the carriage. Replace the side covers to complete the install. Boom, that's a wrap.